Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oluwa, afegba unyo ni unyo joore. Lord, we want to exhort these people about your word, and we are praying that to give them understanding of your word and give them understanding in Jesus name friends at this time we want to talk about the resurrection of Jesus Christ the resurrection is what separates Jesus from all other kinds of prophets. Many of us think that perhaps the only reason we talk about Jesus as Savior is because he was born by a virgin. But the main reason why Jesus was different is because he, re he was resurrected from the dead. I want to tell you about what happened as a result of Adam's sin. When God created Adam and Eve on this earth, they were deceived by a serpent which was the devil. As a result of that fall, Satan took control of dominion on the earth. And he started causing sickness and death on the earth. But from that time on, all the children of Adam has been attempting and struggling to go back to the Garden of Eden. If that is the power that is, was given unto Adam on this earth. Adam was actually given power over the earth to rule the earth. God knows that Satan was upon this earth before. He did not send out the devil. But God says he will create man from the dust of the earth to rule upon Satan. That's God's plan. God says, let us create man in our own image. That they might rule the earth. And have dominion over all plants and animals. In Genesis chapter 1. From verse 26. The God says. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air over the cattle and all over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. In verse 28, And God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Friends, I want you to know that Satan and all demons were on this earth when God was giving these commandments and blessings. When God was giving these blessings and authority to Adam, he wants Adam to rule over the devil. Because at that time, Satan has been cast out from heaven. And he was on this earth. 
this earth was not given unto the devil to do as he wants. For that reason, he created man out of the dust of the earth. And he will breathe the breath of life into this created man so that he can rule over the devil. The devil did not like that. Because first of all, he was exited from heaven. And he's this earth in which he was sent to God is taking it away from him again. He created man from the dust of the earth and gave man dominion over the earth thereby giving them authority to rule over the devil. So Satan hashed up a plan to be withstand this. That's why he deceived Adam and Eve to sin. Because he knows that if he can make them to sin, God cannot communicate with Adam as before. And Satan can do exactly what he wants. Because that is the only one way that we can have dominion over Satan. Is by having communion with God. Only then can we have dominion over all things that are upon Adam the earth. But after Adam has sinned. The devil has taken dominion and authority over the earth. If Adam wants to go against Satan's plan, Satan will bring sickness and disease unto Adam and his people. But God has revealed this secret unto the children of Adam. Many of them are trying to reclaim this power. But many also do not even get, try. They have submitted unto the dominion of Satan. But many among those who hear this secret have the desire to please God. And the closer they move on to God, then the, the easier it is for them to possess this power. There was a man named Enoch who was one of the descendants of Adam who when he has learned about the secret began to walk with God closely so much that he trod under Satan under his feet and he was translated from the earth without dying the Bible says he has this testimony that he pleased God this is what we mean that God is revealing that secret unto man even today but at that time only one out of men and he has that power. Who is it that can be the champion of man? That can face this Satan. That can deliver us from the control of the devil. We could not find a single champion. But God promised that I will indeed send a champion. In the book of Genesis chapter 3, when God saw that all things have come as it were, he said to Eve and unto the serpent that the seed of the woman shall break the head of the serpent. That is God's own promise that he will come to this earth as the seed of the woman to save man, to come and be our champion. That's why Jesus came. When Jesus came, he came to become our champion, to fight against the serpent as our own champion and deliverer. 
Because what authority does the devil have upon this earth? After he has shaken man and confused them, then he will destroy them and take them unto hell. That's where we call hell. But who is it that can champion our cause? That person must be able to fight against the devil and go to where the devil has his kingdom. Fight him there and overcome him and bind him and deliver the children of Adam from the prison of Satan and bind Satan himself and come out from that prison. That is the person that can be the champion of the human race. That's exactly what Jesus came to do on the earth. He came to this earth and you know there were all kinds of prophets before Jesus came. But many of them were killed by Satan. They did not come back. We know a baridum that was translated without dying before the devil could touch him. The Lord took him away from this earth because that is one way because he could not be our champion Enoch that is many can have power because they can fight and help themselves only but they cannot save many people for he that can save himself and also save others is whom we are talking about that's the person that can be a champion that is the Lord Jesus Christ because he is God himself only he can save us and Jesus came to this earth before he came it was prophesied that the Lord is coming and that he shall sacrifice himself but he shall also raise himself from the dead and Jesus said with his own mouth that I have power to lay down my life I also have power to take my life. Nobody can take my life from me. This is Jesus. He rose from the dead after he was nailed to the cross. He allowed the devil to take himself to hell. But he fought with him over there and took captivity captive and came out from the prison. And the book of Hebrews chapter 7 from verse 22 because Jesus came out because he, he rose from the dead and he is alive forevermore. That's the secret of the power whereby he can save any one that comes unto God through him. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, from verse 22 to verse 26, we are going to read unto you from there. It is written that by so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. A better testament. And they truly were many priests because they were not suffered to continue by reason of death. But this man, because he continueth forever, has an unchangeable priesthood, unchangeable priesthood. Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make 
lati ma bebe fun won intercession for them yen pe jesu wa laaye titi di o that is jesus is alive till today yen pe ta ba fi je olori alofa that is if we make him the high priest lati ma ba lati ma bebe fun awon eniyan to pray for them that are believing opolopo olori alofa ni igba awon jew many high priests of the jews somebody ku after they die only bebe fun awon eniyan mo they cannot pray for anybody anymore sugbon gba ti jesu wa laaye si be but because jesus is alive for forever as our high priest he can pray for men up to the end of the world anybody that come unto God through him therefore he is the champion of the human race that's why we told you the story of a champion that Jesus Christ rose from the dead himself how do we know that he rose from the dead I was so we are in Lagos. One day, and somebody was talking. Talking about his sins. And he was he was he was uh, making jests. That Jesus did not rise from the dead. That all they saw was just a ghost. Said after all they did not touch him. The people that he was talking to didn't know the Bible, so they didn't know how to answer him. They just knew he was telling a lie. But they didn't know the Bible so much as to be able to answer him. So I was there and I said, What are you talking about? Then he said unto me, He said the same thing to me. That I say, Jesus did not rise from the dead. Then I said, Listen. He said, All they saw was just a picture. He said, He told them just to look, but they didn't see any substance. He said, It was just a picture. I said, Listen. Do you realize what the Bible says? Jesus said, Said, to hold me. Touch my hand. And know that a ghost does not have flesh and bone. And Jesus Christ was Jesus himself. The person was silent. Because the word of God is true. The word of God is true. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. The angels testified to this. Men testified in the book of Matthew chapter 28 verses 5 and 6 they was talking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ the angels told them that he has risen from the dead that you might know that angels testified to this and the angels do not lie and even men testified to the resurrection Matthew 28 and the angel answered and said unto the women don't be afraid because I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified he's no longer here because he has resurrected as he has said unto you before come and behold where he lay and go tell his disciples that he has rose from the dead he went before you unto Galilee into a mountain where thou shalt see him behold he has told you before yea Jesus rose from the dead he has power to take his own life himself. he said it before he died he said I have power to lay down my life and to take it up that's why we say only Jesus can save because he rose from the dead he who rose from the dead and is alive to today showing himself to his disciples he can also show himself to you if you want if you believe Jesus says whosoever loves me I will love him and I will call him 
if you are a mere fool, and show him myself Jesus unto him, him. Jesus can show himself unto you because oh, he has resurrected from the dead. Man testified to the resurrection in Luke chapter 24 from verse 27 the story was told also in John chapter 20 verse 24 and verse 27 the resurrection was also testified to well, these are all places where he showed himself to the disciples and like I said he can also show himself unto you now Jesus gave this promise to them that believe in him in John chapter 14 verse 21 Jesus says he that hath my commandments and keepeth them he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father and, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him Jesus can show himself unto you now because he's alive forever that's why we can say that he's the savior he is the only savior because he has the keys of death and hell because he went into where death takes people you know that many die and they never return but Jesus died and he resurrected and rose again. He didn't just return, but he actually took the keys of death and hell. That is, he overcame death and hell and took death captive and took the key of death. Henceforth, they have no more, no more power to kill anyone without the authority of Jesus Christ. That's why he can tell you clearly that be not afraid I am he that was dead but is alive forevermore and behold I am alive forevermore and I have the keys of death and hell Jesus Christ is the only savior he can save you from the wrath of God that is to come he can save you from all the problems that is caused by Satan in this world and we have have seen this Jesus. Jesus because this Jesus has shown himself unto us and he has sent us this message unto you, you that you also might believe and put yourself under the protection of Jesus and enter into this act of safety which is the Lord Jesus Christ for only Jesus can save from the destruction to come for the end of the world is at hand I want you to know this for sure as we have told you of the story of Jesus the champion that he is the champion of the human race he wants to give unto us the situation of the garden of Eden but those who are following Jesus will return to the garden of Eden into the beautiful garden where the tree of life was that is when we shall have eternal life wherein if Adam has eaten the, eternal, the, the tree of life he will no longer die Jesus has come to return us back to the garden of Eden but this is only for those who follow Jesus Christ you must follow Jesus we are calling you to yes, call. Jesus sent us to so call unto all that we find and to call what, what and follow Jesus. Jesus, Jesus says, come unto me all ye that yes, labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. He said my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus Christ can Jesus give you peace from the sickness from death from all the fear of witches and wizards from all enemies Jesus Christ can give you peace he's with you right now he's everywhere because 
prophecy, he is the Holy Spirit that's all over the world. Jesus says, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. He is with you right now, and he wants to walk with you. He wants to live in you, if you will allow him. Do you want Jesus in your heart now? He says, open up your heart unto him. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and open the door, I will come up to him and eat with him. And I will wait with Jesus him also. Jesus wants to live in you. He wants to live in your house. And eat with you and you eat with him. Then shall he provide for you. And peace shall be with you. Do you want to accept this Jesus? We want you to bow down your head and we pray for you. Bow down your head. Say after all. Say Jesus. I accept you as my champion today. That only you can save me. Because you have killed much You have captured you death. You have the keys of death and hell. I follow you today. I will no longer fear death. I will no longer fear the devil. Come and enter into my heart. I may enter into the kingdom of God. That I may be a partaker of the kingdom to come. Amen. And I will pray for you now. Jesus. We pray for all our listeners in the name of Jesus that it might be your will. Sin no more in the name of Jesus. We pray for them that the love of God will live in them. Give them the Holy Spirit that it might do your bidding in Jesus' name. Write unto us and we shall help you with more literature. To Evangelist Adewumi. Write to Evangelist Julius Ade. Gospel Distribution Ministry. If you have access to the internet, our web address is www.gospeldistribution.org. You have to spell that one out, gospeldistribution.org. Gospel Distribution is one word. www.gospeldistribution.org. And you can send us email on the internet. Our, web, our email address is webmaster at gospeldistribution.org webmaster at gospeldistribution.org and you can also read all our literature on the internet freely god bless you and see you we'll see you again next time in jesus name